Well, ECU wins the toss. They are set to receive it, and Liam Gray kicks it away, and we get things going here from Birmingham. Marlon Gunn on the return out of the end zone and nearing just about the 20-yard line. Second and two. Ehlers tossing it out again, and once more, the pass complete this time to another Johnson. It's Jalen Johnson. ECU last hit the field, 314 yards in that win in the era over Temple. And this one again complete, so three completions. Low snap handled by Ehlers, thrown as he hit, but completes the pass. This one to Jalen Johnson. We we talked about those guys that have opted out or the ones that decided to stay, but the team wanted everybody to know that even though they're glad that Grace and them decided to stay and play in this game, they don't have any hard feelings against the guys who decided to go ahead and get into the draft. How about this, Keaton Mitchell on the outside, his first carry, the dynamic sophomore running back who was pushed out of bounds by David Jackson. Willers. Calls his own number the entire way, taking the contact, getting back to the ball was last spotted, pickup of nine. Andrew Conrad lines up, the hold is down, and it is good. So the Pirates. Grayson McCall, the same thing. Some will question whether or not, you know, he plays in an offense that's you know, unfamiliar with, not pro ready. Bobbled snap and fortunate to come up with it and hold on to it as Jeremy Lewis and a slew of other purple jerseys were around him. Loss of six on the play. See right there, we talked about Willie Lamp and then the snap might have been a little bit off target there. But <laughs> ECU back on the field for their second drive. Keaton Mitchell on the carry and Keaton Mitchell still on his feet across the 30, 40. Keaton Mitchell into Sean's territory, still going. You said this guy is a special talent. Out there, Bandit and All-American, Josiah Stewart as well. And mentioned his name yet on third and six. Ehlers has a receiver, and Johnson just falls down. He was wide open, would have easily converted. But on fourth down, converted 11 times this season, and the penalty marker comes out. Has a man one-on-one -on -one coverage touchdown. and in for the touchdown. That's Isaiah Winstead. White stays in the ball game. McCall flanks it out. And the pass is hauled in. This coastal team, 16th in the nation. Balanced attack, though. That's been the approach. And McCall takes off himself. And McCall. Razzle dazzle. The double pass right back and into the hands, and it's complete to TJ Ivy. Ivy now inside the five yard line, down to about the one. You know, take it out of the shotgun, but he's standing at about the six yard line. The ball's placed on the one. Give it to White, let him run downhill. Option. And they pitch it out in that option, and Reese White walks into the end zone this time for the touchdown. Fourth down. Keaton Mitchell, tough running Ooh, up ahead. Close. And oh man, you look at the spot, and it looks like he's going to be short. It's going to be very close. A turnover on downs. They get the ball back. Scored a touchdown on their last drive, but how about Chad Stevens coming up with the big tackle for a loss? Call looking. Oh, what a throw on the outside. And a penalty marker comes out at the end. It's a pass interference. Pass interference, number 28. The season for the Sun Belt freshman of the year. And that looked like a face mask. And yes, it is, as CJ Beasley was reined in. This team's in the country. against his pirate team. First and 10, the pitch to Brayden Bennett. And Brayden Bennett across the 20, inside the red zone, and Brayden Bennett. With his wife and his daughter this week. On first and goal, Grayson McCall has a path to the end zone, and he's in. He bounces over, landing awkwardly on his head, but he bounces back up.
Double move up Taylors top. has a man getting behind the coverage and holding Pretty. in. What a catch made by Jalen Johnson. Thirteen of seventeen through the air for Holton Aylers, and that one into the hands of Winston. Touchdown! His second of the ball game, and ECU grabs the lead back. And when we talked with Coach, he got emotional just about Holton Aylers and what he's meant, and going for it again, trying to test that secondary, and again the inexperience there they have. Pass interference, number twenty. Defense. To see if they can stop him three consecutive times. Second in the American in rushing. Important for the Chanticleers defense to try to hold them to perhaps just a field goal as CJ Johnson. First and ten from the 16. Nailers, the lefty, finds his target and again closing in on the end zone. Back in the ball game. 13 touchdowns on the season, making number 14, he's in. For the starting QB, I guess now on third and five, feeling the pressure and not able to escape it. Brought down by Taylor Jackson. It was Grayson McCall who injured himself the upper body area after scoring a touchdown and Guess was able to get it out in time. That's Braden Bennett on the carry. But the loss of Grayson McCall was huge as ECU saying they came up with it. You know, I'm thinking about what you can say to that team at halftime when you take a look at the play. And, ooh, that ball was going down. As he was, <laughs> that ball was coming out as he was going towards the ground. This is going to be a fumble. After further review, the ball came loose prior to the roll. Ball, ball carry being down. In the immediate continuing action, number five for East Carolina recovered the ball. It's first down, East Carolina at the 27 yard line. Holton Ehlers, who was 17 of 22 in that first half, 217 yards, and Keaton Mitchell doing it out of the backfield. Got him. Got him right there. Over to C.J. Johnson, back to Bolton Ehlers trying to get in, just short. Ehlers, back to pass, looking in, flicks it in, and a touchdown into the hands of Jalen Johnson, who holds on to it. African <laughs> 11 win seasons. Oh, and got to mention, nice run here on the edge. That's Reese White successor and had something to do with the new coach Tim Beck coming along as well. Taking a shot, Jerry Guess got him into the end zone. There's Tyler Roberts for the score. And the man covers across the board. Nobody deep help in the middle. One-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside and the throw to C.J. Oh, Johnson, and there is the pass interference flag thrown out there at the end. Tobias Fletcher C.J. Johnson. Wow, they picked up the flag for pass interference. Whoa. An unsportsmanlike penalty. Oh, the blitz and Stringer strips it loose and he's able to recover it. What a play by Gerard Stringer. Stringer gets a running start. You have to make a move on him early. And this is just a great individual effort. Ehlers, 20 of 27, 234 yards and three touchdowns. Look. And how about Holton Ehlers? He's got plenty of real estate up ahead of him, lowering his shoulder in the process. Stay in the Greenville, North Carolina area and grow with the program. He's seen the lumps, he's seen the good and the bad. And Pass incomplete to Jalen Johnson, Pass Tobias Fletcher. 23, defense. Poche, excuse me. And you see that there, just, you know, it caught, turns around, and even with double coverage, almost able to throw that ball in there. And that just lets you know. Fourth and goal. Stop the last time they tried it on fourth down. They go with Ehlers, and Ehlers is in. Lunging forward for the touchdown, and Holton Ehlers. Look, I've just been trying to get 
to know the players and meet them all. That's been my job <laughs> here in the month of December. East Carolina's like, now we have more room to pick apart the secondary. Taylor's, who's been terrific tonight, finds a wide open man, and that's C.J. Johnson for the 11-yard touchdown catch. So Jared Guess has come on to try to lead the shot to clears here in the second half, and he's brought down. Big sack made there by Chandre Smith. Oh. So yeah, I want to welcome you to the beach. Fourth and 13 right here for Coastal. And the pass is incomplete to Tyler Roberts. Here to boot it away. Look out. And that's blocked. Great special teams play made and coming in and charging in quickly. Never know when your number's going to be called, but you take advantage of the opportunity. And right now, Bryce Archie was popped really hard there by Chad Stevens. Scoring drive. More importantly, he's getting some tape. And the handoff there and the thrust forward from C.J. Oh, Beasley. Geez. And a touchdown. 0 for 3 on the season. Bryce Archie trying to change that fortune and does so. From the 41. Ehlers taking a shot, going for it, has a man, puts it on the dime, and it's caught by Shane Calhoun. Here, the swag offices here. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the Third and goal, lofts it up, and that's the fifth touching passive touchdown of the night. And now, going for the two-point conversion, and they convert. Didn't close out the way he would have hoped or anticipated. But Coastal Carolina has a new chapter ahead as the fumble comes out. Ball comes loose. And Mike Houston, oh, there it is. Hats off to Chad Staggs and the job that he's done in the interim with all of the transition for Coastal Carolina. A nine-win season for the Chanticleers. They come up short here in the Ticket Smarter Birmingham Bowl. And all the emotion pouring out for Holton Ehlers. The excitement, and the game is complete. The mission has been accomplished, and ECU winning the Ticket Smarter Birmingham Bowl.